When you think of Costa Rica, what do you see? Stunning rainforests? Beautiful beaches? Or maybe it's uniquely diverse wildlife? It's developed an international reputation for being an especially green, environmentally minded country. So much so that in 2019, the UN awarded Costa Rica the Champions of the Earth Award for their role in leading the way towards a zero carbon future. But whilst the country and its residents play a huge part in maintaining its thriving biodiversity, there's a side to Costa Rica that most of us know very little about. A growing threat to the country's overall biodiversity, and in particular, some of its most colourful residents, the Macaws. This is the Great Green Macaw. And this is the Scarlet Macaw. Two of the most recognisable parrot species in the world, renowned for their beauty, intelligence and charisma. Once common throughout the entire Caribbean, parrot populations have declined alarmingly in recent decades due to poaching and deforestation. Thankfully, the Macaw Recovery Network is leading efforts to restore these species back from the edge of extinction. When it became illegal to keep macaws in captivity in Costa Rica, and many were confiscated by local authorities, this organisation took on the care for nearly 100 scarlet and great green macaws, which are currently housed here at their centre in Punta Ailita, on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. Whilst these animals can no longer be released, they have the best quality of life, where they can exercise, socialise, breed and raise their young, which can then be released into the wild. But the team's work doesn't stop at the centre. To ensure wild macaw chicks have the best chance of survival, a dedicated field team is based in the north of Costa Rica, at the heart of where the remaining wild great green macaw population is breeding. Macaw nests are intensively studied during the breeding season, when macaws are most vulnerable to poaching and predation. And one of the more regular sites that the team checks can be found within the mountain almond tree. The mountain almond tree is a huge tree, it's 180 feet tall, and it produces this incredibly hard nut, which is very, very important for the great green macaw. About 85% of their diet comes from this, uh, from this nut. And when the birds breed, most of the nests, most of the, uh, like over 90% of the known nests, are in cavities that form within these trees. And these trees can live for over 600 years. So they're really remarkable. And it wasn't until 2002 that this slow growing hardwood tree was protected. Now that it's protected by law, it doesn't mean that it's perfectly safe. And so our work is still. There's still some uh, challenges to, to meet because this wood is so desirable for construction and, and for, for lumber. In previous decades, America's booming fast food industry drove large amounts of habitat destruction. But nowadays, the forests are threatened more by the expansion of an extremely highly sought after fruit, pineapple. Costa Rica exports more pineapples worldwide than any other country with over 40% of the total exported pineapples coming from Costa Rica, a value worth a whopping $981 million. In stores and supermarkets in North America and Europe, you can buy a pineapple for just a couple of pounds. But the real cost behind this popular fruit is much greater, as the growing demand has led to numerous public health and environmental concerns throughout the country. For the McCalls, the demand has caused the loss of vast areas of forest. Historically, an estimated 90% of mountain almond tree has been cut down. And although this giant tree has been legally protected since 2002, with the forest around them removed, these ancient trees are dying off too. And that's why the work of the McCall Recovery Network is vital in providing hope for these remaining parrot populations. If we want to safeguard the future forest species, then it's essential that we work with the local community who must coexist with that species, and also through them and through our own direct efforts, protect the habitat as well. And 
and that's what the network aspires to do. We're working with local women and, and empowering them to do different in various different initiatives connected with nature. We're doing reforestation efforts and looking at ways to protect habitat as well. So this is a holistic picture of conservation for the amazing parrots that we work with. Whilst the McCall Recovery Network continues the fight to preserve these incredible keystone species, they need all the support they can get, and there's plenty of simple ways in which you can help wherever you live. It could be as simple as making a small donation to parrot conservation, making sure that you buy fruit locally, or if you're really interested in getting involved in conservation, check out the volunteer opportunities on the McCall Recovery Network's website. Link is in the description below.